Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you guys are all doing super well. Today I'm starting a vlog, but I'm a little nervous about this one because I haven't really planned things out and I'm about to combine a lot of things into one video and hopefully not make it super freaking long. But um, just to give you guys like a roundup of what this vlog is gonna be about, um, basically I've gotten a request to share more flat, uh, updated flat tour here and Hanoi flat tour, updated closet tour, collections, shoes and bags and all that stuff and honestly in terms of the flat tour I don't actually spend that much time in Vietnam. Clearly I didn't spend um I didn't I didn't come back at all last year. Anytime I come back it's like for three months at a time kind of thing and it's like twice a year usually kind of thing. So not much has actually changed since I shared my last um, Hanoi flat tour but I do know that my Hanoi flat is some of you guys' favorite out of the three um, so I hope that I can kind of you know when appropriate share around the flat with you guys today any updates if I can think of any um, and same with the collections I'll just kind of bring you guys around when appropriate I guess but I am also doing a lot of packing so basically there's a lot of piles in my flat at the moment because there's a lot of packing going on, a lot of reorganizing um, as I have kind of hinted previously in my videos and in um, on Instagram. We are moving flats when we go back to London, not straight away because obviously there's going to be renovating going on first. Um, so in March, actually, my parents closed on a deal for a flat in London for me and I couldn't be more grateful because I can finally have my own home in London, which is like the most exciting thing for me. I cannot freaking wait. I will be sharing more of that kind of stuff, the layout, the furniture, as well as the actual flat when I go back to London because I just don't feel like there's, it's kind of, there's not much to share until I'm back there and I can actually show you the flat. Etc. So all that stuff I will share then but um, I just obviously had to share that we're moving so like all of this packing would make sense to you guys. So with that said I am packing quite a lot to ship back to London not only in my luggage but we're actually going to um, ship in a container a lot of things back to London because of the furniture and whatnot um, and that meant I was able to buy a lot of other things that I can ship with the container back. Um, so in the guest bedroom, I have a pile of stuff for the flat there, um, which I want to share with you guys. We've been doing a lot of kind of shopping for the home. Um, obviously, I'm in my closet now in my bedroom. And since some of you guys want to see um, more of an, a closet update, I thought I would go through my clothes with you guys um, because I am picking out some things that I want to bring back to London. Um, just in my suitcase and some I am shipping back. Um, I do have a little bit of a haul for you guys, as you can see here, more Dior, empty Dior bags there. They're not all mine, some of that was my mom's stuff which I did share in my previous video, my mom's haul, but I also um, got a couple of treats so I'll share that as well um, in this haul. I mean, in this video, sorry. And then we also went to Max Poor, my dad's factory again the other day and picked out quite a few things that were shipping back to London. So I thought I would quickly share that because there are some really freaking cool pieces. Anyways, that's enough talking, guys. This is the current mess that is my closet right now. I've already started packing a little bit. For the past couple days, I've kind of been going through some of the clothes, putting stuff that I want to either ship or pack with me back to London there. Um, I have a couple things in mind that I want to bring back, but I've already made a small tiny kind of selection here. This is actually new stuff, so I'll just share the new stuff real quick first. This is from H&M. I got all three from H&M. I thought this little um, purple bucket hat looked freaking adorable with this bikini top. So I got them both. They're actually hanging together. And I love how this is wire. There's like a wire in here. So you can mold it to however you like it, which is which I really liked. Um, and then I also got this from H&M because I love a biker short and thought these were cute. I got this from Zara the other day. Um, this is just a little set of little shorts and then a top. I thought this looked really comfortable and obviously I really like the color. And then I got a couple bits from Dior as well. 
I'm just gonna show you guys on an island and do a split screen to show you guys what it looks like on because instead of doing a sit down situation. But um, my mom chose out these shorts and this denim jacket for me. How freaking cute is this set? This is a little bit big for me. It's an oversized fit, but I do like that. Um, I do like wearing things oversized, obviously. And then these I picked out myself. So quick annoying story about this one. I actually had a very similar set. I bought this, you know, when it first became super popular. Um, I got it in like the black with the Christian Dior and then the strap kind of just, because this one's more of like a cross, a crisscross. The other one I had wasn't. Um, and it was a different kind of style panty, but I think either I lost it or it got stolen. I think it got stolen, to be honest, but because I can't prove it, I don't know. I can't, you know, confirm that. So whatever, I lost it. Super annoying, but I decided that I wanted it again because it's actually so freaking cute and I loved wearing it when I had it before. So um, this is like a, a dark, it's like a navy color. And then I also picked out this little bralette top, which annoyingly I ripped it a little bit because I wore it the other day, but that's okay, that's just the tag. Um, I think these also come with matching bottoms. I didn't see them, I just saw the top, but that's okay. I just wanted the top because um, obviously I'll wear pants and um, that won't be seen. But how beautiful is this? I love the texture of it too. So freaking stunning. Here's another look at the shorts. I don't know if I showed the shorts properly, but it's got two pockets at the front, two pockets at the back, and this kind of gorgeous paisley dyed kind of design on it so I put you guys down so I can use both my hands because this definitely needs both hands it's so freaking beautiful um, it is the last item of my mini Dior haul it is the creme de la creme the cherry on top of this haul it is my new bag and it is my new Montaigne bag in this amazing python it is pink it is orange it is it's got black it's got be um, beige white it's just got the most stunning color to it oh my god i actually freaking love this buckle i never noticed this buckle it's really really nice i quite like that really thick strap which i love I'm so happy. I'm definitely also late to the bandwagon on this bag, but that's okay. So that was the stuffing, by the way. Comes with all the certifications. Oops. And the authenticity card. Care booklet, I'm sure. And then, here's the inside of the bag. So like I said, that was the last item of my Dior haul. She's just so freaking precious. I can't, okay, I gotta stop staring at it. Um, Lisa, the sales associate Dior here in Vietnam, she also gifted us three beautiful, amazing books, which I'll share in a bit in a bit because I put that in a different pile. I put that in the ship to London pile because I ain't bringing heavy ass books back to London. Like I am not carrying that in the suitcase. Um, but okay, back to my pile here. This is the stuff that is from my existing closet in Vietnam um, that I'm thinking of bringing back to London. This is a Jill Sander t-shirt that I've had for years. I think I got this in high school or just after graduating high school. I wore it again this trip and fell back in love with this t-shirt. It literally just says Jill Sander in this like crayon font all over it. So I thought I'd bring it back because literally just a simple tee that will work very well with a lot of, you know, simpler outfits. This gorgeous dress is a Celine dress. Again, got it ages ago. Um, brought it back here because I wasn't wearing it, but kind of feeling it again. Love the fox print. That's why I got it because it reminds me of London since there's loads of foxes in London. These are a pair of silk pants and this like chiffon material. Kind of like um, sporty vibes, jogger style um, with the elasticated cuffs there at the ankle area and then at the top um, around the waist. One of my first Balenciaga pieces, 
um, from high school as well. Oh my god, it's so freaking stunning. Or actually, like, I think maybe the year I graduated. So stunning. I actually also have the matching pants. So this one is like a navy blue with like yellow and this is like burgundy with gray. So these pants, I need to actually try these on and see if they still fit. I haven't worn these in so long. It's like a denim material, like super skinny as well. This body is just from Zara. I honestly just forgot this here last time. I meant to bring it back to London and I forgot to, so bringing it back this time. And then we have three dresses here. This one is from Saint Laurent. Oop, Saint Laurent. So I'm bringing it back because I can't remember two times I wanted to wear this for an outfit and I couldn't because it was here. So I'm bringing that back. This is a Rixo dress, which I also brought back thinking I'd wear more here than London. Um, and that's probably still true. I definitely would wear this here more than London, but I freaking love this dress. It's got like the most cool space print ever. I love the color of it, I love the fit. This last dress is a hand-me-down for my mom. Actually, her, when she bought it, it was longer. I shortened it. I can't remember what brand it was. I think it's Kukai. Yeah, Kukai. I think it's an Australian brand. We used to go to Kukai quite a bit. So anyways, I loved this dress so much. Um, wore it to death when she handed it down to me during high school. Um, and I haven't worn it in a while, but kind of vibing it. Looking through more clothes. I don't think there's anything else from the shirts that I want to bring back. But um, yeah, a lot of these are... Do you guys remember this? I think I hauled this. From Fendi, Zara, Paul Smith. That one needs an iron, looks like. Oh yeah, I've been wearing this quite a bit since being back. This Giorgio Armani top that my mom um, handed down to me as well a while ago. Here are like my longer shirts. I did move things around a little bit here actually because this used to be pants, um, but I moved the shirts over. So I kind of reworked um, the organization of this not too long ago. I was literally just looking at this before I turn on the camera. Um, I kind of want to bring this back to Vietnam. I've only worn this once to Greece. Back to Vietnam, back to London I mean. Um, I've only worn this once and it's actually really cute. I definitely got this on sale online. It's by Emilio Pucci and yeah it's just a nice beach cover-up huh? So I could ship that back because I'm not going to the beach anytime soon. And then loads of Topshop. Oh, this is and other stories. I have the matching skirt to this too. How cute is this print? Maybe this one? This is a Marnie top. I got this at TK Maxx. How cute is this top? Love it. I love the colors and I love the print. Maybe I'll bring this back. I'll leave this out too. In terms of my summer short sleeve dresses, I'm pretty sure I'm going to leave all this here because this is definitely just all better for my Hanoi wardrobe slash lifestyle. It's just... So easy to throw these dresses on. Zara dresses, sequin dresses. This is a Dolce Gabbana dress. I This one actually I got in London for my birthday several years ago before the whole fiasco happened with them. Um, some dresses from ASOS. These two are from ASOS. Look at this fun print. I bought this to wear for Valentine's Day. This is really, really fun. <laughs> I've yet to wear this out. I've worn this like at home, walked around in it, but I'm not brave enough to wear it out because as you can see, you basically, it's basically see-through. <laughs> I forget the brand name of this. Elsie and Fred. I don't even remember where I bought this from, as in like what website or if it's like from a shop, but look how freaking sparkly and beautiful this pant is. So stunning. I love looking through my clothes in Vietnam because they bring back so much memories and stuff that I used to wear when I was living here. Moving over to this side, the long sleeve slash wintry stuff. Um, well, this is not really long sleeves. This is a little Stella McCartney dress. Love the color, how stunning. Another stunning Rixo dress, which honestly I might take back because I love this dress so much. Um, and I miss wearing it, but at the same time, I'm bringing back way too many <laughs> summery dresses. Another Rixo dress. You guys can see how much I'm obsessed with Rixo dresses. Down here are the sweaters and knitwear and whatnot, and actually there's really not that much. It's just really spread out. 
because obviously most of my winter stuff is in London. But um, I think I've shared some of these in a previous video, some of my old Balenciagas, this Kenzo um, sweater that was super popular. Um, this is an And Other Story sweater. This is one that Gareth shows out for me. Maybe I'll bring this one back. This one's quite interesting because it's got like opening here. I don't know, I'll have to try that one on. I think I might have tried that on last time. Should I bring this one back? I got this one from this brand. I saw it on Instagram and decided I needed it, so I bought it. It's quite tight, but it's so cute. And I love how it's got this like belt. Love the purple. Oh my gosh, this. Ed Hardy. I feel like this was a time, this was a moment. I freaking loved this moment and we're over it, but I kept one of them because you kind of need it for the archive and for the memes, you know what I mean? <laughs> With the tiger. And then we've got this section, which is bursting. Um, I definitely need another longer section eventually. And these two, this tank long maxi dress as well as this one which is a long sleeve version they're both from zara and these are probably my most worn like longer dresses the last sections are the jackets and blazers and i think there's just one blazer that i want to bring back with me this one this jill sander blazer this is really cool i love the back it opens at the back and then i have some blazers from high school days i love this dkny one very preppy. Um, this Zara one I wore for New Year's with a really fun pink dress. This was cute. Actually, should I bring this back? I'm thinking maybe I should bring this like, little guess vest. This is super fun. This is by Livu Couture again. It's like a poncho style jacket i love the triangles and the pop of red for the pockets how cute is that it's quite fun actually we had a moment of this leopard oversized coat back in high school which i am still kind of into <laughs> this is from bb um i actually loved bb back in high school as well and like kind of my gap year time also, I think I'll bring this one back. This is the last thing, clothing-wise, I'll bring back with me from my um, wardrobe here, even though this is from London. Um, Kyle helped me get this at a sample sale. This is by J.W. Anderson, by the way. Look how cute this, like, octopus, like, jellyfish vibes <laughs> with the print as well. Love the colors. Look how gorgeous this purple is. Moving on to the accessories room, which is looking a little bit bare on the shelves because I've moved everything down and onto this side because this is all the stuff that I'm gonna bring back with me to London. So first off, these are the shoes that I'm definitely gonna bring back. Some of them are gonna go through shipment and some of them I'm bringing back in my suitcase. But I've got these Jack and Lou's heels that I was so sure are super uncomfortable so that's why I left them here. But I wore them this time and I was actually, I was thinking they actually aren't that bad so I'm gonna give them another shot, bring them back so I can wear them. These Fendi kitten heels I missed a lot from the Monsters when they were doing all the Monster, Fendi Monster collection. Love these, bringing these back. These ones, I actually didn't love these when my mom first bought them for me, but they have become one of my go-to shoes here. These are by Marnie because of the Velcro and I actually love the color combination. They've been, yeah, they've just been so comfortable and easy. So definitely gonna bring those back. Then I have these, maybe I don't need to bring these back guys. Ugh, I'll put, okay, I'll think about it. I'll leave it at the end here. These are Sergio Rossi heels with this like feather detailing to wrap around the ankle. Very dramatic. These um, are probably shoes that you guys would recognize from my hauls. These Chanel ones I left in Hanoi, these espadrilles, but I think I'm bringing them back with me. They like wrap around the ankle up top, you can tie it up. Thought it'd be cute for summertime. And then I have a couple sneakers, um, my new Louis Vuitton ones that I shared last time, and then two pairs of Nikes that are also new. I bought these maybe like two, three weeks ago. Love this color combination. 
and then, oops, that's disgusting, there's a hair hanging off there. And then these sneakers, which Conrad and I both have matching, actually. And then we have the rest of the shoes, um, which maybe I'll go through and share some of my favorites because I still get requests to do shoe collection here. So yeah, here we've got some boots, not very many because obviously most of them are back in London. This is Topshop and a couple of Zara boots. These ones are by Alexander Wang. I love this kind of spray paint vibe. So cool. Um, and this like armor at the front. <laughs> Although it kind of looks ugly now that I've bent this. But yeah, these were actually really popular when I got these. Um, and then these are Celine. Little booties. Those are cute. Some flats that I've left here. These Chanel ones are really not comfortable. They're way too tight and they're just not giving at all. So that's why they're here. These Balenciaga flats are probably my most worn in Vietnam as well as this Fendi monster pair. I have a pair of Stella McCartney's here. These I wore to death when I first got them. And then a pair of Celine espadrilles. These are cute. And then my little Fendi monster collection. <laughs> Love those. And then sandals down here. We got some super old Rockstad Valentinos, which clearly I've worn also to death. And then these Todd ones, again, you can see I've worn all of these so much. This I actually might bring back because I wear these I don't know, at least like four times a week. They're so easy to match. And then the heels section here, I've got some super old Jimmy Choo's here. They are so insanely old. I got these in high school. Um, I honestly can't remember what it was, but I got invited to like some kind of Jimmy Choo sale or something. I think I got both of these there. These are really, really fun. And then we've got these amazing Chanel heels, which I love so much. I got these in Taiwan when I first kind of started shopping Chanel. I love these. These are a si half a size too small for me, but it's because they ran out of my size and I couldn't leave without them. I tried them on. They still fit, just a little bit snug. It's got like this harness detail which I really like that goes kind of around the back like that so cute and I love this back detailing too here I have my Zara collection of heels at the back although that one might be top shop yeah this one's top shop but yeah all of these are Zara these were one of my favorite heels so fun with the fringe these I know are questionable but I really like them the sock with the heel trend I loved the sequins very tacky. Down here I've got a couple more heels. Again, really old Valentino rock stud heels. As you can see, I've worn these to death. These are my favorite middle high school heels that I couldn't get rid of. I got rid of, I don't know, I would, I'd say 80% of these really fun colorful heels from back then. But I love these so much. I don't know where to start. This pair of Betsy Johnson's love these these when i dabbled in modeling in vietnam these were like my go-to heels to bring for shows because they were the most comfortable and easy to walk in um i have two so i have these two both from aldo same collection sparkly as you can see i also had a favorite kind of type of shoe either rounded or pointed but just super simple but yeah these are super sparkly <laughs> These are so cute. These are like Barbie heels. These are from Nine West. I bought them for like an anniversary outfit, I think. Next side. <laughs> this is more like strappy style, I guess. These I loved. I actually got a friend to help me buy these from Topshop because I saw them online, absolutely found love. I wanted to get them. Online shopping was not a thing when I was living in Vietnam. I think I've mentioned that definitely. Um, these are crazy. Zara heels that I think I've only worn once because they're insanely uncomfortable, but so beautiful. Here's my current island situation. And like I said, everything here is coming back with me to London. Looks like a lot, but I mean, most of this is from my London closet anyway. These two are new, obviously bringing those back. I knew I was gonna bring all this back with me to London. I'll just point out the bags that I'm bringing back from my Hanoi wardrobe, like this one. This is a cute little purse from Louis Vuitton. My mom bought this for me back in high school for one of my proms. I wore a little black dress and she got this little purse to go with my outfit. And then I'm also bringing this one back. I have 
um, another one in the, from the same collection already in London. It's a little crossbody. But I thought I would bring this one back too because I've been wearing this one quite a bit since I've been here. Here we have a really super miscellaneous pile. This is the things that I'm bringing back and keeping. This is from, these are charms from my bag, Loewe charms. But yeah, these are a couple of random little accessories that I want to bring back to London with me. I'm sure a lot of you guys will remember ooh, this um, Saint Laurent ring phase. These are the three that I had. Love these. And then I'm bringing these to Alexander McQueen rings back. I don't often change my rings. I wear the same rings every day. But I don't know. I just was staring at these and wanted to bring them back with me. A Dior wallet that I got from Paris. A couple earrings or just maybe one. Yeah, these two. These I always thought made me look like I had. I was stretching my ears which I kind of like that kind of look sometimes without actually stretching my ears. And then these kind of iridescent ones. A um, pair of sunnies I want to bring back. These are with the Baroque style. These were my first ever pair of shoes. Very, very first pair of shoes, like proper shoes. My biological mom saved them for me. Um, and I've actually had these for like quite a while now, but I just kept them here in my Hanoi flat. Um, because I have more space here, but now that we're moving flats, I've got so much more space That's why I'm bringing so much more stuff back with me because I have actual space to put everything in and like nicely displayed nicely, so um, I want to bring these back to put there as well This is my new wallet that I already recently hauled and this is an Hermes tray that I have had here and then this section here actually are things that I don't want anymore. I'm thinking of selling. I don't know what to do yet. We'll see. I have this um, Fendi Can I bag that I just really don't use. Then I have this Gucci Marmont bag, which I'm selling because I have the exact same bag in velvet, but also pink. So it's literally the same bag. Um, and I think it's just time to get, um, let go of one of them. Okay, I've opened everything up so it's easier to show you guys. But these are the two pair of earrings. Oops. This one. And this one that I'm thinking of letting go. Oh my goodness, I thought this would be easier. For, okay, there we go. And then I have a ring that I also am thinking of letting go. This is a gold costume jewelry ring with the CCs on both sides. And then also this Saint Laurent folding wallet, as well as this Prada key slash um, change purse. Um, and then this Fendi cuff as well. So these are the kind of these things here I'm thinking of selling or I don't know what to do with these to be honest. I don't know where, I don't know when, I don't know how, but that needs to get sorted. And then here I have my bags. I did a Hanoi handbag collection. I'll link that down below so I won't go through those. But these are more bags I'm bringing back with me to London. This I have still yet to use, guys. Oh my goodness. I feel really bad. I need to use this um, hopefully this summer. And then, obviously, my two Lueve bags. Um, and then this one I got, these are both vintage. This one I got from a vintage shop in LA. Definitely more London vibes for winter time. I don't know why I left this here. Look how cute. There's like the Chanel logo on both, on the little bobble. The CCs. So stinking cute. And I love the chain detailing. I just love how this like opens up as well. So cool. And the Chanel charm, of course. And then this is a vintage Saint Laurent um, laptop case. So that's everything from the accessories room. I really hope I wasn't repeating myself too much because I feel like I have shared some of these shoes before, but um, I still get requests to share my shoe collection here as well as my bag collection. I know 100% I did a bag collection video already. Nothing has changed, so um, I'll link that link. I'll link that video down below. Like I said, shoe wise, I don't think I did a whole shoe video, but I definitely shared some of my shoes. So um, hopefully, I got I was able to give you guys a bit more of a glimpse. Sorry, it's so dark. A bit more of a glimpse of my shoe collection here. Okay, I'm gonna take a bit of a pause from um, the pack with me situation going on at the moment. I've clearly changed into something more comfortable because it's dinner time. I thought I'd share you guys what we're having for dinner tonight since I can also show you guys a pan over of the kitchen 
continuing an updated flat tour, kind of. <laughs> Nothing's changed in the kitchen as well, but tonight's dinner is mushroom soup. So we have a array of mushrooms and then some noodles as well. This is the dipping sauce. It's not a sauce at the moment, but it will be when we put a bit of the broth with it. it smells so good, it's still heating up. So I've got some time. But yeah, here's the kitchen, still looking pretty bare besides a couple plants. They're both real, this is an orchid, and this one is dried flowers. Yeah, the kitchen's looking the same. I think the only difference are the plants, because the plants do get rotated around um, quite a lot. And then, just like that, dinner is ready. Look how delicious it looks. We don't usually eat at the dining table. It's more like a breakfast nook, the size of it, but um, we thought we'd eat it right here tonight. And then you dip this, yummy. Mm, so good. So I decided to wait till the next day to film the rest of this video just because we, obviously we lost all the light after dinner yesterday um, and obviously it's better to film during the daylight. I am in my guest bedroom at the moment and obviously it's looking a little bit different because of all the stuff that we're shipping back to London. So first of all I wanted to show you guys our new painting that Conrad and I got the other week. I absolutely loved the colors of this and this is going to look really really good with the color palette that we've got going on um, or we plan on having in the new flat. The artist is Ang and he painted this in 2020. We got this made. Um, there's Bamboo Street in Vietnam where they sell bamboo <laughs> and you can oh and they also obviously sell ladder like bamboo ladders and whatnot and they didn't have one as wide as I wanted it to be. Um, I believe this is 70 centimeters wide, if I remember correctly. So we got this custom made. I plan on using this either to hang towels in the bathroom or hang scarves. I haven't decided yet, just depending on where I want to put everything. Here we have a huge collection of tableware that I have been obsessively collecting and buying because Vietnam just has such stunning ones and a lot of them are way more affordable than what we could get in London. So these ones here I already had, these crystal ones here I had from, I just took from my bar cart. So I'll bring these back to London. A couple of people have asked to see what the um, pottery look like after glazed and honestly, not great. So first of all, ignore that. That's just my F up. I used the wrong color there. But I mean, I, I also did try to paint over, but I, don't, I guess it didn't work. Um, and then this is because um, I used way too thick of a um, paint layer. So when it was fired up, it kind of like messed up that way. But if I didn't mess up, this would have looked so cool. Here's the cow design one with the pink background. The pink didn't turn out as pink. But this one is definitely cuter, and I do like this one. This one's really cute. Um, I did, unfortunately, have to throw two of them away because it was just way too, I mean, ugly in, <laughs> for one. But the um, the bubbling was just too much. This one was pretty bad too, but I don't know. Somehow Conrad convinced me to keep it. Pieces that Conrad made at the ceramic workshop, um, the pottery workshop. This was supposed to be a coffee cup. But as you can see, he didn't leave much room for the actual liquid, so he's decided to use it for Q-tips, and he's left this in the uh, master ensuite. And then this is his ashtray, which is actually a remake, because the one that he actually made cracked here on the inside, so they remade another one for him in the exact same shape and style that he wanted, so that's cute. I'm bringing my Missoni blanket back as well. This whole set here I got for like afternoon teas kind of situation. They're all pastel y colors. So here's like a massive plate for cupcakes or pastries. I also got a purple one. And then this one is a purple dessert dish, I guess. And then I also got a little teacup set 
as well with the same green. Love this color. Look how adorable these plates are. I love the shape of these plates. So cute. So I got several of these um, in different colors. Let me show you one of the bowls in the pink because I don't think I've shown you guys anything pink yet. So only the green ones don't have this like silver or gold lining around it, which I actually prefer. All the other ones have the gold around it, which I asked if they had without the gold, but they don't. I don't mind. I still think it's super cute. These two I already had in the master en suite. I just think they're so beautiful. And I put like cotton pads and cotton buds in here. So I want to bring these back to London as well, because I think this would look really good in the bath in there as well. And then my mom got us some extra Louis Vuitton candles to bring back. And then these three I already had as well. In the kitchen, I decided to bring these back to London. These are popcorn bowls. <laughs> I think they're just so cute. That's an Alessi cupcake holder <laughs> for afternoon tea as well. So I thought that'd be cute to bring back. These I had in my guest bathroom. These are Vietnamese water puppets, but they're elephants, of course. So freaking cute. I got four of these ones and I just thought they were so pretty. Love the design on these. These are all ceramic um, and I thought these would be good for desserts or for ice cream. So I thought these were great ice cream bowls and I thought this would be cute um, with it for like, you know, other desserts or like toppings and stuff they can put, people can put on um, the ice cream. And then I saw this one too, which I just thought it was super cute. Not entirely sure what I use this for, but kind of looks good with them. So I got it anyway. And I got two of these. Thought these would be really cute pasta plates. Absolutely love the shape of this. So, so pretty. You can kind of see there, these are rice bowls and then the matching plates. And then so I also got the yellow ones underneath. So I got four of these. Conrad picked these ones out. He really liked the blue of this. Um, so these would be good for like the sharing dishes for the middle of the table, I thought. Soup bowls. Sorry, that's the doorbell. They're all the same shape, just in different colors. But how stunning are these? Oh yeah, I got these little cups, which I thought would be really cute. I want to learn how to make Vietnamese egg coffee so I can impress my friends in London. <laughs> basically because um, I keep getting like DMs from friends being like I want to try that so I'm gonna learn how to make it I thought these would be the cutest little cups to put them in to serve them how cute I love the handle of that one so pretty and also got this one as well these are all made in Bat Chang I believe as well but I bought them like in Hanoi here we have a water jug or like a drink jug these are made of brass I kind of like searched online for someone, for a shop, sorry, that sold these kinds of things and they had loads of different jugs, which I really liked. I just love the handle of this one, so we chose this one. And then couldn't decide on the cups, so we decided on two different cups. We got two each. Again, I love the handles on these and this one looks like it's got like indents in it. Really, really cute. Some of my favorite tableware um, we bought recently. Um, my friend found a really cool shop that basically, well, the owner goes to like Japan, Korea, Thailand, just around Asia and sources all of these. Some of these are vintage, some of these are just like one-off random tableware things. For example, um, what was it? I think this is the bowl. Yeah, this one she only had one of, but I just loved it so much. So pretty. I am not the biggest sushi eater, but still I thought this would be super cute for like you know, when we have some Asian food or sushi night or something, especially with friends. This has like a built-in soya sauce or dipping sauce situation there. And the sushi would be so freaking cute. Look at how stunning this is. So I got four of these. They had four. I got all, I got all of them. And then they had three of these, but I took just two. Again, this would be really good for like the sharing dishes on the table. How stunning is this one? So pretty. And then I got... I think four of these ones. Yeah, four of these. These actually are meant to kind of sit in a circle. So four of them together and, and then a dish in the middle, like a little 
bowl in the middle, but that was missing. So I um, just got these ones. These I freaking love. These are from Japan. And these are vintage Givenchy teacups and saucers. How cute. The shape of this is so stunning. So here behind, this is the make Yamaka. This is Yamaka for Givenchy. How stunning. I got a set of two. I was hoping that they'd have more, but they only had two of these. So I got both of them. And then these actually are the three books that Lisa at Dior gifted us last time we were there. And I am planning on bringing at least these two back. Not sure about this one. This one's so freaking heavy. This is Dior Lindbergh, which is a, um, who is a photographer. Ooh. There are two books in here. Oops. So heavy. There are two books in here and they're just beautiful archives. So stunning. And then this one is Dior by Nats Gustaman, who I believe is an illustrator. This one is also super stunning. I love any illustrated books because I wish I was good at drawing. I honestly would draw all the time, but I'm just really not great at it. I've tried. Um, and then this one, which I've seen a lot on Instagram, this We Should All Be Feminists. Again, an insanely gorgeous book. Um, and then this was a stunning book, um, Fendi book that I bought at Fendi in London. Um, quite a few years ago, actually. Um, Fendi by Karl Lagerfeld. It's a beautiful box. How did I do this? And I absolutely, there's so much in here. First of all, there's like a USB, which I honestly haven't looked through. But um, there are several little books in here. I think that's it, yeah. I've got the 50 questions with Karl Lagerfeld. Then we have Five Decades with Fendi by Karl Lagerfeld. And it's just got loads of his sketches for the collections. How amazing is this? Then this has just a bunch of different like Fendi logo drawings, like doodles. Anyway, so I bought this a couple years ago and I brought it back to Vietnam to have to display here. And then not too long ago, I was searching online because I really want to have a set of this in London as well and to display in the London flat. But when I searched for it, it was like over a thousand pounds now. <laughs> I'm like, heck, no, I'm not going to buy this book again for over a thousand when I literally got this for like, I don't know. I honestly can't remember how much I got this book for, but definitely not a thousand pounds. So I'm just going to ship this back and have it there since... Like I said, I'm rarely in Vietnam. Not rarely, I do spend quite a bit of time here, but obviously I've based myself in London, so I want to have this there. And this is an amazing, again, sketches from Karl Lagerfeld. So I just got my hair done this morning, which is why I look a little bit like a poodle. Um, I got a perm, and usually when you just get a perm, it's like super curly. Hopefully this settles. Um, the curls are a little bit smaller than I wanted them to be. Usually I go for something a little bit bigger, so I'm a little worried, but hopefully it settles. Um, I have most of my hair tucked in, but I'm currently, well, we're currently in my living room at the moment. As you can see, we've laid out a lot of stuff that we picked up from um, Maxport Limited the other day. We went back and I thought we would, I would, or we would share the stuff that we picked out. I've just put on this ACG outfit, which I think is quite cute. Super cute. I like that this is kind of off to the side a little bit. It's not yeah. centered. Love this pocket, the side pocket here as well. And I really like the color combination yeah, too. Yeah, too. Um, the pants are nice. They're like fleece and tightens around the waist. It's elasticated as well. Nice pockets. I love the knee patch. And then Conrad is sporting a Nike and Kim Jones set. This one, ha this one is the long pants. Conrad also picked out the shorts version of this, so unzips down there by the ankle, which is nice. 
little Nike Air zipper. And then at the back pocket here, there's a KJ for Kim Jones. Just says Nike Air at the back with the KJ there. Nice reflector. Yep. And it cinch, uh, you can tighten it around the waist as well, right? You or cinch it. Yeah. Indeed. And it's got pockets on both sides as well. And it's also <laughs> reversible. So it's pretty much exactly the same, just like navy blue. Um, and then the Nike KJ at the back. Very nice. The same top in this colorway as well. I like this colorway a lot. It's probably my favorite one out of the two. But yeah, I do find I agree. matching pants for this. So I do like this for the set. And then this one is cute with the colors. Last time, if you guys have seen our other Max Boy Limited haul, we got the Lakers Ambush Nike collab set of um, jacket and pants, which we've already packed. So I've put on these other Nike pants that I chose out the other day. These purple ones, I really like them. Simple, yeah, looks comfortable, cool yeah. But I <clears throat> also found this top, which we didn't see last time. So I thought I would pick it up because it matches the set. <laughs> I actually really like the fit of it too. Yeah, it looks it, good on you. Yeah, it's like kind of goes in and out here. Yeah, good details. Yeah, really like that. Conrad's put on a Supreme set. I remember this hoodie. It's, it's been around for a minute, but yeah. yeah, we went to the, yeah, it's quite old. We went, we went to like an older archive room this time. It's the same style as the red one would be. We didn't see the red one there, but he found the black one, which I think he would have preferred anyway, right? Right. It's more wearable. Yeah. So it's an elasticated waist, supreme on the butt, and with a with a pocket, and then more pockets there. <clears throat> Nike tick down there, and it opens up with a zipper around the ankle. That's a nice colorway. I like this one. Me too. Very nice, and the back is plain. Nice. And he also chose this jacket, which is sick. I also remember this when it was released. I'll just throw it on quick. Yeah. It's not gonna really, I mean, this is too much, but just Definitely. to show you guys. Yeah. Really comfy padding, nice and warm. Yeah, I love the padding in this. Pocket there. Buttons up as well. Very nice. A couple of different materials here. I really like the purple material. Yeah. Turn around. There's a lot of Nike Supreme locals everywhere yeah, on this it's jacket. Loud, but <laughs> yeah, it's really, really it's cool. Comfy, it's warm, it's functional. Yeah. You can unzip the hood off as well. Oh, that's nice. I didn't realize that, yeah. but cool. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is what I'm dealing with right now. This poofiness. <laughs> oh my God, it looks like pubes. Gross. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna show the top first. I got this. I also picked out this fleece um, hoodie. Yeah, it's a hoodie <laughs> um, from Nike ACG as well. Just this like leopard print situation in black and white. And it's also got a pocket in the middle. I actually thought the pocket would be much bigger. I thought it would like kind of be like that, but it kind of ends here. So okay. it's good for like change in a phone and your keys yeah the essentials but, at least yeah but at least it's got like pockets here. oh yeah there's like pockets there pockets as well here, yeah nice. it actually goes all the way through I can oh okay my hands on both sides. cool yeah i also picked out these i think these are lulu yeah lulu pants they had several colors and i like this one the most again just some more comfy kind of jogging style pants to lounge around in by the way, Connor got a haircut too. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned that, but your haircut looks good. I like your haircut. A little shorter than I wanted, but it'll grow out quick and it's not as drastic as you <laughs> <laughs> So this is a Nike jumper that I actually picked out. Um, obviously you can wear it too, but um, I actually picked something like, or actually the same one out for Jacob last time. And whenever he wears it, I think it's super cute. So I love the neon green. Well, it's not showing up green on the camera, but it is definitely green. Yeah. This is a ACG Nike pants that Nike pi that Nike that Conrad picked out um, because it's the matching pants to a shirt that he bought. Yeah. Short sleeve zip down. Yeah. Love the pink accents. That's very nice. 
and the pockets it's got the same contraption as the first pair of pants I shared as well this is the other ACG fleece number that I picked out <laughs> love the pink I love this like yellow pattern here with the Q and the yellow ACG Nike there it's a bit oversized on me but we all love oversized things right <laughs> This would be so cozy for the plane as well. For sure. Pants that I picked out are these. I have these in green as well in London. And I saw these brown pair, which I really liked. And it's got this like checkered design. Also reflective. Yeah. With the Nike tick there. This is a cute color. It is. And then the last jacket that I got, I freaking love this. It's probably my favorite thing that I picked up. Purely because of the color con cor uh, the color um, combination, this pink and like um, green, it's like watermelon themed. It's a massive poncho. This one's Patagonia, <laughs> and it's got pockets on this side here. So cute, perfect for London for rainy days. Yeah, this will definitely come in handy. Okay, I'm gonna push my hair back. <laughs> Oh my god, how cute, and the buns are green too, I That's love it. Super cute, really <laughs> nice details. Yeah. And then underneath I just have on one of the, well actually no, the only biker shorts I picked out this time. Let's take this off. This is from Aritzia. And yeah, I'm not going to show the back because like I'm wearing like, it's that time of month, I'm not wearing the cutest underwear, so I'm not going to be showing, I'm not going to be trying the leggings on. So this one's actually one that my mom saved for me, so I already had this one, loved it. These are all Gymshark, clearly. Some just have the logo and some say Gymshark. But when I went to the office the other day, I saw a couple more colors and was picking like four or five out. And then I realized how satisfying that they all look, <laughs> that they all look together. So I kind of just decided to get them all. I did leave like three of the colors behind, but this is the majority of them. <laughs> How satisfying is that though? Yeah, very so aesthetically nice. pleasing. <laughs> and Gymshark are honestly some of my favorite um, leggings at the moment. So I have so many black pair that I live in in London. Um, I actually don't have um, very many colorful ones from Gymshark. So I thought I'd stock up. I can give you guys another quick look at the living room. Again, the only difference in this room is that I changed this around a little bit, the display. This is a super super old lacquer painting my mom did of my my dad and i she might kill me for showing you guys this because she's not proud of this kind of messed up the proportions a little bit but you can tell it's me and my dad but it's just not quite me and my dad <laughs> and then my favorite little corner of the living room is the vinyl player because also this multifunctional artwork there we go. <laughs> I think you turned off all the other lights though, and then turned on this one, but that's okay. The light, just, uh, the, uh, light switch here isn't labeled, so it gets a little confusing because of a lot of switches. But yeah, it's both an artwork and a, a light, which is nice, at, especially in the evening time. And then the vinyl player. I'm really gonna miss this view. And the sunsets here, which are really beautiful when it's not super foggy, but Gonna miss this chill spot too. So peaceful here. Actually, I'm gonna give you guys a quick update on my console table here. Looking super green. I love all the plants here. These make me really happy when I, cause it's the first thing you see when you walk in, <laughs> even though it's super far down, but you do see it. I just love all the plants. My mom gave this to me recently to bring up here. So I've put it right by the mirror. So pretty. I love this as well. I shared this. I pointed this out last time too, but it's a little elephant stand. I think the only rooms I haven't shared an update are the bathrooms. So I'll quickly share an update on the guest bathroom, which I still freaking love, even though I never really use it. But every time I come in here, it makes me really happy because the tiles are so cute. I know it's like super busy for some people, but I love it <laughs> and of course there's elephant accents around um, there was a couple 
display knickknacky things here, but I've moved those because um, I just wasn't feeling it. And the two water pup Vietnamese elephant water puppets I want to bring back to London is already packed, so I have to find something else to put there. It's Monday morning. <clears throat> Sorry, I just woke up, so my voice is super crackly. But today is a very bittersweet day because today we are leaving Hanoi. Um, we're going back to London, which is always exciting, but leaving Hanoi um, is always bittersweet. Our flight's not till noon, so we have a couple hours. And I wanted to, um, well, actually, the whole reason of me showing you this is because the last room update of the flat that I wanted to share is my um, ensuite bathroom. And while we're at it, I thought I would share with you guys what I've been doing for my bath time um, for the past week, more like five days, but um, anyways. So I'm boiling up these leaves that Tui helped me get. She <clears throat> helped me get these like mix of herbs. I don't know what they're called, but I'm gonna ask her. Um, she sent everything to me in Vietnamese. It helps with it helps a lot with skin and it helps a lot with sinuses. So I've just been sitting here for the twenty for the past twenty minutes, kind of what I do every night since I've been doing this, um, just inhaling the steam for twenty minutes. And then what, what we'll do is we'll put this into a bath, and then I'll soak in there for a little bit too. Um, yeah, I always have sinus and skin problems whenever I travel back to the UK. I think like the change in like the weather and like. All that stuff really, really um, affects me a lot. So there's that. Last room that I haven't shared an update yet is the master ensuite, which I'm just about to take a bath. That is ready to go into the colanders, and then that will sit in the bath so it doesn't the leaves don't get everywhere. I moved the this print from the living room into the bathroom and then moved what was there behind the perfumes so that was that was there before and i also removed like the big leaves that were here which i don't think very many people would even remember that but um replaced it with an orchid instead but yeah we're all packed up here nice Ooh. Make sure it doesn't go everywhere. Oh, that's hot. Okay, thank you. So this is what the bath looked like. Actually, the first time we did this, we didn't put them, put the leaves in the colanders. We just dumped them all in the bathtub. So that looked more cool. I, I think I took some photos, so I'll post that. But this makes it the cleanup much easier if we just like leave it in the colander. Bye bye bedroom, see you next time. We're all packed up now. All the suitcases are lined up out here. So I'm gonna end the vlog here guys. We're gonna head down and hang out with my parents and then we're off to the airport, heading back to London. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was more of like a mashup between like an updated flat tour slash shopping my closet slash haul video. A mixture of everything um and yeah hope you guys enjoy give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it leave any comments or video suggestions you guys have down below for when i go back to london and hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already and would like to come and catch up with me again and until my next video i'll see you guys soon